Good morning, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning to everyone present here. Honorable Chairman, Respected Secretary, Respected Principal, and my dear friends, I would like to thank each one of you for joining this one day webinar on Ways to Nurture the Nature, which is organized to mark the National, uh, National Pollution Control Day, the Eco Club and and IIC jointly organized this webinar. If we to... It's my privilege to welcome our most respected chairman, Ryan Kuru Muniratanam sir, for this webinar. I extend a warm welcome to our secretary, Ryan Kuru Ramanan sir, to this webinar. Welcome you, sir. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our principal, Dr. S. Rukmani ma'am, who gives constant encouragement and guidance to conduct this webinar. It's my duty to welcome our today's speaker, Dr. S. Rani, Assistant Professor, 
department of chemistry at the anna government arts college chair on behalf of the college i extend a warm welcome to you madam indeed i am happy to welcome dr tamilarasi president iic to this webinar i welcome all the faculty of various departments and student participants to this webinar dear friends i would like to thank our chief guest and speaker dr s rani madam for kindly accepting our invitation and i would like to extend my gratitude to her now i request our let me give you a brief biodata of our guest speaker now i am invite our respected resource person dr s rani on behalf of our college madam has completed her phd in 1991 at the university of madras with research fellowship she has 25 years of teaching experience which she taught 10 years on engineering college and 15 years in art, arts and science college madam received travel grant from tnscst tamil nadu state council for science and technology to present a research paper at beijing china in 2005 she has guided 15 mphil students and 5 phd students madam has presented 20 research articles in various conference and published published in research papers in paper peer reviewed journals to her credit she also authorized a book entitled electro analytical methods and it was published by mjp academic council to publishers she was the member of scsu mu university from 2002 to 2002 with this introduction i invite madam to deliver her lecture now i request our principal madam to give the presidential address madam in another webinar ma'am uh, please uh, You can proceed, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் principal and the organizing committee for conducting a webinar jointly with institutions innovation council and eco club to commemorate the national pollution control day every year december 2nd is celebrated as national pollution control day in memory of people who lost their life in bhopal gas tragedy this was one of the major industrial pollution disaster ever seen in the last century yes ma'am earth is an eternal body is my presentation shaad Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Earth is an eternal body which gives an enormous wealth. and this wealth is getting depleted because of overpopulation industrialization urbanization and migration there are n number of reasons for global warming in 2012 
the average temperature raises to 0.85 degree centigrade but now it is 1.1 degree centigrade if it goes beyond 1.5 degree centigrade we must face various consequences even if we control pollution right now even today we control the pollution the environment may take nearly 13 years to restore its normal temperature imagine even today we control the pollution the environment takes nearly 13 years to come back to the normal temperature so in the last one decade we have faced number of cyclones nearly 33 cyclones and unseasoned rainfall and 30% of ocean gets melted as a result sea level is raised and also a study says that in antarctica a 24 million kilometer wide ozone depletion has occurred sunlight is directly enters into the earth surface when a sunlight enters into the earth surface we may get a skin problem so there are enormous uh, climatic change the reason for all this climatic change is pollution here i have listed a number of pollutions and its types so water pollution air pollution soil pollution noise pollution light pollution or visual pollution plastic pollution litter pollution radioactive pollution and thermal pollution is it clear hello yes, ம் சொல்லுங்க மேம் இல்ல மேம் ஷேர் ஆகவே இல்ல நினைக்கிறேன் ஷேர் ஆகல மேம் டைட்டிலோட நிக்குது மேம் பட் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் இதுல தான் இருக்கு சொன்னாங்க Yeah, we will do it, ma'am. How can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Now, I have listed a number of pollutions, namely water pollution, air pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, light or visual pollution, plastic pollution, litter pollution, radioactive pollution, and thermal pollution. See here, the plastic and litter pollution are almost one and the same i am going to discuss it in later and the radioactive and thermal pollution is an enormous uh, control methods which i am not going to discuss now uh, let us uh, go for a, uh, <coughs> other pollutions the human activities are the major cause for the pollution and exploitation of natural resources so here i have shown who are all the responsible for pollution government society and individual they are the main cause for the pollution here when you take a government both state and the central government board of uh, pollution control imposes uh, rules and regulations for the sustainable development of the nation but they are only the monitoring body so government can impose a regulation whenever we follow the regulation it may the pollution may control so the government is only a monitoring body the next is the society society is nothing but it is a group of individual of common traditions and culture the last one is the individual so there is a saying that or the the song in a movie tridanai paarthu thirundavittal thirittai olikka mudiyadhu 
so if an individual have a common or the concern over the environment we can control pollution even though it is a collective responsibility of a individual society and government the individual must take the responsibility of controlling the pollution because that plays a major role in controlling the pollution so the main objective of my presentation is what are all the responsibility of an individual in collecting controlling the pollution there are three mantras or slogan for controlling pollution is three r's they are reduce reuse and recycle let me di discuss this more at the last part of my presentation now i will go for the individual responsibility to control the air pollution is it chat yeah ma'am what slide you could see air pollution control oh, measures very good. very good the major cause for the air pollution is the emission of carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides of various oxides and particulate matters only if we control this carbon dioxide emission we can control the air pollution for that each one has to follow certain precautions or certain uh, change in the human activity to control this carbon dioxide emission the first and foremost is using a public transport we always prefer to go in a individual or the uh, personalized vehicle so you can avoid going that collectively you can go in a public uh, transport that will reduce the carbon dioxide emission and also whenever we go for even for a short distance we always prefer a two wheeler instead of that you can go for a bike you can go in a bicycle so that will also reduce the carbon dioxide emission so the number of trips you go and even to a short distance you go in a bicycle it will reduce the carbon dioxide emission so better you take a public transport the next thing is you have to turn off the lights when not in use you know the light is either at a home or at a work the tube light will have a tungsten and uh, mercury lamps so this will emit a more poisonous gas into the atmosphere so and also we can use a led light the light emitting diode only they will give a more uh, power and also will save the energy so we can use a energy saving fluorescent lights which can save the electricity and also it will reduce the emission the next thing is reduction of smoke see in rural area we always use a wood stove for cooking so that we have to avoid nowadays the government has a, a free service to the lpg so we have to avoid the ma'am please tell me ma'am hello neutral area please tell me ma'am but there is a ma'am yeah ma'am so we can reduce the smoking by avoiding the wood stove usage that is the varagadu that they may call it as a wood stove so that we have to avoid then avoid of burning leaves and trash so any junk material or the uh, dry leaves that we will always burn it we have to avoid the burning instead we can convert into a compost so instead of uh, burning the leaves or the any trash or the junk material we can decompose into a another useful product that we can do it and use of fans instead of air condition so nowadays uh, people have the practice of using a air condition all 365 days so we can use the air condition whenever necessary so when during the summer we can use it otherwise we can use a fan because air condition it liberates the hydrofluorocarbons so we can avoid those things the next is we can use a chimneys for filters in cooking we have a 
chimneys at the kitchen where we have an extra filters that we will avoid uh, smoking another is avoid usage of crackers so in the deepavali or any functions even a normal any gatherings we have the practice of uh, cracking a uh, or sorry burning a crackers that we can avoid it we can celebrate it but we do need such a practice because that will emit more uh, poisonous gas carbon monoxide if it is unburnt material is that it produces a carbon monoxide which is more dangerous than a carbon dioxide so we can avoid the practice during the uh, functions yes ma'am the last thing is the product of chemicals students are not and everybody nowadays uses perfumes and cosmetics these perfumes and cosmetics have histamines when it is liberated in the environment when we inhale that histamine we will get an intolerance towards the histamine that is more histamine goes into the uh, nose or to the lungs it causes the allergy we first we will get the Neasing nose. That, that is a sinus problem. The later it will lead to the pulmonary disease. So we can avoid the perfumes or cosmetics. We can use a nas natural cosmetics. We can use instead of going for a uh, synthetic or the chemical cosmetics. So by avoiding all these things, we can reduce the air pollution. So all these things we can uh, do even at a home or in the personal things. we can go for a public transport we can switch off the lights wherever necessary and then we can uh, reduce the smoking and also we can use the limited air conditioning then we can use the filters for chimneys and you can avoid using the crackers and also avoid using the chemicals all this reduces the air pollution then it is water pollution so this much of chemicals or organisms into the water body leads to the water pollution so here even at home we did dis uh, disposes some bleaching products which are the chemical we use even the detergents then uh, old paints unused paints thinners and used motor oils these are all the materials or the chemicals we disposed into the junk adavu kuppa illa You know, we will always throw it along with all decomposable waste. So what we have to do is separate all these chemicals separately, and then we can have a uh, dispose. So right now, so the bleaching, the paints, thinner, or any uh, the chemical used at the home, we can separate it in and throw it in there. And then we should not pour a fat cooked oil. Or grease down the drain. See in the uh, city or in the corporations, we have the underground drainage, and that can be lead to the sewage tanks that can be uh, recycled, and then it will send to the uh, water body. Whereas in the rural area, we don't have such facilities. We always go uh, the uh, oil waste or any liquid waste will dump it in the drainage or sorry in the soil or in the water body. that we can avoid it the oil or the any grease or the fat content we can separately dispose it off or we can give it into the uh, municipal uh, sewages so that they can separately dispose it that we can do it and the next thing is use of phosphate free detergent and uh, dish cleaner or dish washers see india uses nearly 2.88 million tons of phosphate for manufacturing soap see imagine for every day they are using nearly 2. around 3 million tons of phosphate they are using it for making a detergent so when this uh, phosphate detergent when they let into the water body the first it will affect the oxygen content it will reduce the oxygen content in the water body so that it will kill all the fish or any aquatic species so we can have a phosphate free detergent it's when you go and buy a any soap material you can see at the back of the phosphate uh, packet or in any detergent bottles 
you can see it is a phosphate free there are nowadays many phosphate free detergents are available one of the brand is aqua something aqua wash or something some detergent it is a totally a and then surfexel which is a phosphate free uh, detergents i am not advertising it it is a, one of the few phosphate free detergents i know it and these are all uh, totally phosphate free but normal uh, detergents we can avoid it it is little little costlier but it is a uh, totally a phosphate free because if you leave uh, leave the more phosphate into the water body it will uh, totally uh, destroy the aquatic species so we have to avoid the phosphate uh, detergents next is repeated checking of uh, some pump see in the rural areas we don't uh, we'll have the practice of storing the water at the uh, sump they, they may not have a overhead tank they will have a sump at the ground and then that will be repeatedly checked because that may have a any link with the sewage so we have to some connections to be periodically checked to remove any biological waste or heavy metals or any uh, chemicals cleaning chemicals or that that we can avoid so the repeated checking of sump or once in a 6 months we have to clean the sump or we have to check any uh, unwanted uh, sewage material is uh, mixed with that or that that we can avoid it by a repeated checking then dispose of medical waste properly see when when we have uh, any unused pills or the medicine or capsules uh, the people have the practice of uh, throwing it in the junk or they will throw it into the toilet and flush it out and that we have to avoid all this uh, uh, the medical waste or anything we have to separately cover it and then put it into the uh, junk bin and then we have to hand over it to the uh, scavengers or the any uh, cleaning uh, person from the municipality so whenever you put a junk material you have to separately give all the materials yeah, what are all the decomposable material what is undecomposable material we have to segregate and give it to the municipality people or the urachi or panchayat those who are coming for collecting a junk material so we have to uh, separate the all the junk materials and then we have to uh, repeatedly check your vehicles for leaking so any uh, motor oil or any other fluid from the vehicles we are least bothered about all these things so we can see near the automobile repair uh, you can see a full of oil uh, sprays and even at the home where we are keeping our vehicles you can see a uh, droplets of oils we imagine that it's only a one drop has uh, fallen into the ground or into the landfill but you see sir tulli perivellam see if you collect uh, if you see to the nation wide even a small drop of an oil spill will cause a lot of damages so if each individual has a practice of checking or doing all this human activity then we can control the pollution enormously so the water pollution can be controlled by uh, disposing of toxic chemicals and medical waste everything separately and hand over to the municipality person for uh, collecting the junks and then we can use a phosphate free detergents and also we have repeatedly checking the sump and then we have a Uh, any leakages in the motor bike that we can repeatedly check and we can avoid the water pollution yes ma'am next is the uh, noise pollution see we think that do the noise uh, causes any pollution definitely because uh, 100 to sorry 50 to 100 uh, decibel is a, a normal uh, unit of uh, sound to hear if it goes beyond 150 decibels the sound itself becomes a pollution so any sound or a noise which is greater than 150 decibel will cause noise pollution so more noise pollution damages a ear drum so that also we should avoid it so for that we have to follow certain 
meshes. They are turn off appliances at the home and office. See? TV, then cell phones, computers. In, uh, you can see in some of the houses, continuously TVs will be on. The computers will be on. So that should be avoided because if you keep on hearing one noise continuously, it will damage our eardrum. So wherever necessary, we can put it on. Otherwise, we can switch off all these gadgets, TV and other uh, computer and everything. So this will avoid the unnecessary noise. Or the night noise will uh, lead to a stress. Stress will lead to an unsleepness. That will lead to the another thing. That is gone. Uh, hearing the noise will lead to the some health disorders. Then proper lubrication and better maintenance of machines. See in the uh, at home when we use a fridge or any washing machine, there will be a more noise because we have not uh, continuously maintained. So once in a year, at least we have to maintain all these home appliances. When you maintain this, we may reduce the noises. The next thing is using silencer to control the noise from automobiles. See now, the next uh, few days, the new year and Christmas is going to fall. That time the people you can see, more uh, people will go in an automobile removing the silencer. With the tremendous noise, they will go and enjoy this new year holidays. See, you can see that noise continuously hearing for more than two days, it will cause a damage to our eardrum. So, you should avoid removing the silence. And then when you use a cell phone, you can put a headphones, you can see the volume will become red mark. That is, we should not use beyond that level. But people are always, even they use a headphone, they will keep it into a maximum volume. So, we should avoid all those things. We have to keep only a lower decimal. As you are uh, hearing all the noise using a headphone, we have to avoid this. So the maximum volume to be avoided, whether you are uh, using a headphone or speakers. And then we have to stay away from the noise area. That is, the any a residential area near the uh, national highways. So they are continuously hearing the noise of vehicles and else the people residing near the airport there is a landing and the taking of the uh, aeroplane there is a tremendous noise vehicle uh, dispersed that should be that can be avoided so we have to stay away from this uh, areas so better we have to reside at a very calm area to avoid this pollution so the measures which we take it for the noise pollutions are we have to maintain the home appliances. Then we have to use a turn off the home appliance wherever not necessary. Then we have to use a silencer with automobiles with the silencer. And then we have to stay away from the all noisy areas. Yes, ma'am. The next thing is soil pollution or land pollution. See, always we have the practice of junk, uh, dumping a uh, junk material onto the land. So that should be avoided. Whenever we are putting a junk, we should not throw it on the street or onto the, any uh, common area. We have to keep it a, on a separate pit where we can put all the uh, junk materials. Then use of pesticides. That should be avoided. See, pesticides, when you go to a shop, you have an empty number of pesticides and fertilizers. That is a chemical fertilizers and a pesticides. And uh, ancient uh, periods, they have used only the neem oil and wood dash, sambal. Okay. They use only the uh, vepanai and uh, sambal. Only these two are the pesticides they have used in the, those days. We have, we have to adopt all those things for our better health. So wherever even you are using it in the garden or you are using it to the uh, farm, you have to use only the uh, bio pesticides. 
then we have to avoid the chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers, we have nowadays NPK fertilizers, and then we have a micronutrients. All these uh, fertilizers have the micronutrients, uh, copper, manganese, magnesium, all these have uh, this much more quantity that we have to avoid it. We have to use only the bio-organic fertilizers, that is the vermicompost or the kitchen waste can be decomposed. Just you put a, a sprinkle of a curd over the kitchen waste. After one month, it will turn into a compost. That you can use it. So we have to avoid using the pesticides and the fertilizers. The next thing is light pollution control. See, do you, you may think noise is one pollution, again light is also in another pollution. Definitely, it will damage the eyesight. So, the people who are working in the decorative area, they are continuously seeing this decorative lights. So, they may have a health problem in their eyes. So they have to use a, a minimum decorative light. Then we have to use, even if uh, can't avoid this uh, uh, light, we can go for a uh, LED lights. So this LED light will have a very limited uh, emission with uh, less power. So we can avoid using a uh, decorative lightings. And if at all we cannot use it, we can go for a uh, fluorescent lights. Okay? You can you avoid the light pollution. Last, least, which is a plastic and litter pollution. Hello, somebody is using my please switch off the mic. The plastic and the litter pollution are most they are one and the same. It's the foremost thing we have to avoid using the plastic. Because I have given a table here, approximately 20 to 500 years to decompose, depending upon the material and the structure of the plastic what we use every day. See, hi. please somebody switch on the mic, please switch off the mic. Switch off, mute pen, unmute pen. So the plastic takes nearly twenty to five hundred years to decompose, but nowadays. Uh, people are continuously using the plastic bags and the plastic bottles, pet bottles. See, mm -hmm. here you can see the plastic, the normal uh, uh, plastic polypill bag, which takes 20 years to get decomposed. Then coffee cups, it takes 30 years. The juice straws, 200 years. Plastic rings, that is the plastic uh, bottle cup, it takes 400 years. Pet bottles, juice bottle, water bottles, all this, 450 years. The disposable diapers so for the child we are using it, will take 500 years. And plastic toothbrush takes 500 years. So, to So plastic, minimum of 20 to 500 years it takes to decompose. When a lot of uh, the plastic waste thrown into the landfill, imagine so many years to take them, so many generations it takes to decompose. So we have to avoid using the plastic. 
or that we have to use go for a recyclable plastic. If at all we want to use, we have to go for a recyclable plastics. So never leave any plastic waste on the street or on the beach or any common place. We have always have the practice of throwing all the materials, all the uh, junk on the street. Except our house, every place is a junk for us. We always, we keep only our places uh, clean. We never think of the neighbor's place is our own place. So we should have the practice of doing this. So there is a one uh, cinema uh, joke. Idu ungal sattu. Everybody uh, read that it is a ungal sattu. Like that we have to say every place is our place. Because we are uh, going for a sightseeing or any uh, places to visit or for the work or for any purpose. We are uh, moving always along with the, we are traveling with the plastics. So we are uh, putting all the waste in the landfill that we have to avoid. We have to, if we are going to throw it in the dust, we have to throw it in the dustbin. If you are not seeing any bin, you have to carry the waste till you find the another place where the bin is there. So we have, must cultivate that practice. We should not throw the uh, the waste bags or the plastic bottles or any sachets, everything we are putting it into the, uh, on the street, that we should avoid it. So we have to find a place to dump it. Even if a bin is there, we never put it in the bin, we'll always keep it outside the bin. We should have, have the practice of putting it into the bin. Then avoid pre-panned fast foods or dispose of packaging in the waste food. So when you collect or uh, uh, buy any food material, it is always packed in a plastic bag. It will always leads to the cancer because when a uh, uh, plastic is heated, it liberates a carcinogenic material. So it slowly, if it enters into the food, uh, it will cause the cancer or it will produce the free radicals that damages the cell. So we should never ever buy food in a plastic bags. That we should avoid. Then do not launch balloons at the party, which is a very dangerous plastic for a seabird because it swallows it. So we will have a balloons for the function, birthday functions or any functions. So we should avoid these balloons because we'll after the functions take over. We will always keep all the uh, waste materials and uh, put it into the uh, bin along with the every junk. So this balloon material or that small uh, piece, when it goes into the water body, the aquatic species, when they uh, breathe, they swallow this uh, balloon material, which is very thin material. We go into the uh, food digestive industry in the digestive tract. It will kill the aquatic species. So we should not use the uh, balloons. Even if you are using it, we have to dispose it separately. Then use a reusable bags and pouches. So every day we are uh, carrying a uh, carry bags. Then any pouches, these are all made up of uh, plastics or any rubber material. That we should not use it. We can use a jute material or any cloth bags we can use. It can be Reusable. So we are always have the. Uh, we feel ashamed to carry a uh, cloth bag. Nowadays we have getting a very fancy jute bags at a shop. We can buy all this. If not affordable, you can go for a cloth bag. There is no nothing wrong in carrying those bags because we are always concerning our nation. So for that we have to use a cloth bag. Nothing wrong in using that. Avoid the use of plastic disposable materials. See, whenever we go for a picnic or any tourism spot, we are carrying the lunch. We'll always carry a plastic plate, spoons, forks. Even at home, we have a fancy uh, plastic materials. Uh, the two uh, <coughs> kitchen items, stirrers, water bottles, all this sort of plastic. We should avoid this. We have to use a stainless steel or a mud pots or a even a ceramic uh, pots that we can use it. 
then avoid plastic packaging. See, when you go for a big malls or other, the materials will be packed with the thin wrapper sheets. That is a transparent sheet, which is soft, very dangerous. That will also take nearly 30 to 40 years to decompose. So never buy any packed materials. The fresh fruits and fresh vegetables at the uh, street, you can buy it. Instead of going to a mall and uh, getting a packed items, you can go for this. Then do not buy plastic water bottles. So nowadays we have the practice of asking our water from the neighbors or to the uh, third person. What we are doing is we are buying a water bottle and having it. And uh, people also nowadays they are not uh, giving or offering a water because of their scarcity. So water bottle every day nearly 25,940 tons is getting accumulated every day in India. See the, the enormous amount of uh, Plastic bottles are thrown as a junk. Where to jump all this junk materials? We are always putting it in the near the seashore or any water body or the uh, common places. The common places also, if continuously is uh, filled with or accumulated with this uh, plastic weight, when will it get decomposed? Only our next few generation will suffer, suffer the uh, water resources or any uh, the natural resources. So we have to use, we should not use water, plastic water bottles. Then uh, in the earlier of my talk, I told uh, reduce, reuse and recycle. They are the three mantras of uh, controlling the pollution. And what are in the day-to-day -day life, how we can reduce or the reuse or the recycle uh, the wastes that we'll uh, discuss now. So let us discuss with the uh, reduce. See, when you go for a uh, shopping, we'll always buy a small sachet shampoos, then uh, coffee powders or any paste materials. We'll always go for a very small sachets. To, it is easy to carry and also it is the cheapest. But no, don't ever think it is the cheapest. When, uh, when you buy these small sachets, there are some number of sachets will be thrown, and that will be a very big task to recycle it. So, if you go for a bulk, it is compared to the sachet, the bulk will be cheapest. So, you go for that, even the bulk material will be packed in a plastic that can be recycled. So, instead of uh, buying a sachet, you can go for a bulk products. So, always buy a products in a bulk and also avoid a sachets. Then avoid using over packaged goods. You can see in the picture, a small uh, gadget is packed in a very large uh, boxes that we can avoid it. So you never ever buy it over online. Go to a shop and buy it. Then the package will be minimum and the throwing a uh, junk into the uh, common place will be minimized. Then avoid using disposable goods. That was I said in the last few slides. We have to avoid all the plastic materials which is used for kitchen and all these things. Then use two-sided copies whenever possible. Two-sided copies, I'm talking about the paper list. See, people always use uh, one-sided uh, writing. We should not uh, do that. Always use two sides of the paper that will avoid a uh, pollution, wherever necessary. If you are, you are writing a letter, obviously we have to write a one side. If you are taking your notes or you are taking a Xerox, you take a two sides, wherever it is possible. Then maintain central files rather than using several files at office. That is uh, only uh, for any uh, purposes, we keep the files or the personal files or in an office file. We'll keep a number of files. You can, instead of having it, you can centralize it. You keep all the files. Whoever go to, for reference, they can go to that record room and take this file and record it and then come back. Instead of keeping 
all the files under each and every office. Suppose you are keeping a personal file of a staff or a student, you can keep it at a one room. You can keep uh, one copy and store it in the record room or any common place. Whenever you want to take a profile of a student or a staff or any particular person, you can go to the record room and collect the personal information or any uh, information needed. Instead of keeping each and everybody, the head will keep it and the in charge will keep it and the student will also have the copy of it. Instead of that, we can avoid keeping a multiple copy. We can have only one copy at a common place that we can do it. These are the few things we can adopt it. Then use an electronic mail. See, see nowadays, even a government imposes uh, the electronic mail. So we have a, a websites or the uh, email. So we can send all the mails, even if it is official, we can send it as an email instead of writing it in a paper and sending it via uh, post. We can uh, avoid all these things. We can use an electronic mail. Even if you are writing it to a CEM or to a secretary of an, any department, you can write it over an uh, email. That you can do it. That will avoid a paper wastage. Then use of cloth napkins instead of plastic table cloth. See, wherever, whenever uh, in the common place or even at home, we'll always spread the uh, plastic uh, sheets over the table. That we can avoid it. We can have a uh, uh, fashionable or the uh, decorative uh, cloth materials are available. That we can avoid and reuse it. Then dish cloth instead of a paper towel. We have the fancy of using a paper towel uh, when during the travel. That we can avoid it. So because cutting a tree is an another offense to the environment. So these are all the ways we can reduce a certain uh, pollution. Then reuse methods. If you go and buy a, a pen at a market, we will have nowadays only the ball pen, use and throw. See, we have the practice of use and throw habit nowadays. But in those days, they have a repeatedly, they will use the same uh, thing for all purposes. They have a pen, they will have only the fountain pen or a ink pen. They will use a ink every time. They use only one pen for more than two or three years or even five to six years. But now, for every one month or two months, we are buying a new pen. So, there is a, that much amount of the plastics is getting wasted and it is getting manufactured and then it is used and then disposed. All this will have a problem. So, for any product we use, we have to, ha we have to cultivate the habit of reusing it. How to reuse it? Even the plastic cans, we are using it for the drinking water purpose. Once it is uh, broken or it is getting damaged, you can use it as a uh, garden uh, tank or uh, sorry, uh, that is a, a flower pot, you can use it. Like that, you can reuse it. Then you can uh, sell old appliances, toys and furniture through advertisement. There are uh, Nowadays, uh, many social media, they have a sites for uh, reselling it. We can put our uh, uh, used appliances there for the uh, ad and you can sell it instead of tapping it to uh, any junk. Or we can give it to uh, any person who nearly a need of it. At least they can use it. Like that, we can reuse it. If you are going for a new model, any home appliances, you can... Uh, Give the old one to the needy people or to, uh, through the advertisement you can sell it to others so that somebody can use it. Use use resealable containers rather than plastic wrap. If you see the containers, you can see a plastic marks. It is printed some we can work, uh, manufactured and then uh, durability everything. Instead of uh, that plastic wrap, we can see uh, in those days we have a, a steel uh, openers. Uh, st sorry, steel lid in a uh, glass bottle. That way you can go for. Nowadays it is available at market. Then use a ceramic coffee mugs. Because nowadays we feel ashamed to use a stainless steel cups. So you can have a ceramic or the uh, uh, designed uh, co coffee cups are available at market at the economic rate. That you can buy it and reuse it. 
then take your own cloth bags to the store or use compostable or biodegradable bags. See, you can see. There is a difference between biodegradable and compostable uh, material. See, biodegradable material, you can see in the bags, see, there is a symbol here. That is a reduce, reuse and the recycle symbol. If any bag contains this symbol, you can buy that because it can be compostable or it can be decomposed into an another material. So, always when you take a, or when you buy a, any bag, you try to see this symbol whether it is printed or not. If it is printed, you can buy this because it is decomposable. See here, I have given the difference between the biodegradable and a compostable waste. So, biodegradable is a natural process because nowadays bags are made from a corn waste. And the maka chola merkli, and the maka chola thought, and the stem nadular kli, are used for because that is a starch. Using that starch, they have made the uh, bags. Nowadays, that bags are available at market. You can buy that. And this biodegradable uh, bags, we can throw it even in the, on the soil itself because it will get decomposed through bacteria or another microorganism. Whereas compostable bags, these bags are decomposed but only at a control process. We cannot normally uh, decompose it. We have to throw it in the junk in a separate manner. Whereas biodegradable is like a vegetable waste, we can toast this bag also in a, uh, on a soil on uh, any water body. Then uh, this biodegradable uh, bags are converts into carbon dioxide biomass and a water vapor. See this uh, very minute quantity of uh, carbon dioxide is emitted from the biodegradable uh, bags. Whereas in the compostable, it can convert into a rich soil supplement. That is, it is uh, compost material. Then biodegradable plastics are unspecified amount of time because there is no uh, time is not known. Whereas this is the compostable uh, bags are composed in a uh, three to six months. So we can go and buy uh, uh, such uh, bags. With, uh, it's available in uh, many shops. Then we have to go for a recycle. So, <clears throat> Any decorative items that is, you can see in the pictures, uh, the pen stand is made from a pet bottles. Like that, all the decorative items you can buy when it is from the, uh, the decorative materials made from the recycled uh, material. Like that, in uh, you can go the pen stand or this uh, uh, bangle stand. All these are all nowadays it comes in a uh, recycled material. You can use it. So like that, we can reduce and reuse and recycle the plastic materials. With that, I conclude my topic. Pollution should never be the price of plastic. The screen chat is the Thank you, ma'am. Anybody asking question to ma'am? Students? Ask. Mute, mute. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I'm principal. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So nice presentation, nice explanation. Thank you. Our students are our students are gifted to have uh, such a nice uh, resource person today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Bharati, you have a question. 
ma'am you learn so what tension anybody anybody ask question to ma'am okay, any ma doubts clarification regarding this okay ma what of tension okay. irma okay thank you I extend my thanks to guest speaker, Dr. Yes, Ma Rani Madam, for spare her valuable time to grace this occasion and giving a wonderful lecture. On behalf of the college, I thank you, Madam. It's my duty to thank our chairman and secretary sir for encouraging me conduct this webinar. I thank our principal, Madam, for her kind support for the for this event. I would like also like to thank our proud. Faculty Dr. N. Tamil Arasi, head of the department, IAC president, Department of Computer Science for her moral support and guidance. I must thank Dr. Rajesh for his help and support in conducting this webinar. Once again, I thank everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you. Thank we you. are uh, we, we have nice day today thank you madam thank you feedback thank you. feedback feedback send pannu students wait pannunga feedback fill pannite left hand feedback madam mudiyum